again it's 10 o'clock and I'm going to be here this morning showing you some more ideas for Christmas which is now allowed to be said and just around the corner so uh, today we're going to be having a look at some of the classes that we've got available on our school uh, we're going to be talking about Cake International because obviously I've just come back from that uh, we have got a live next week as well so I'll be giving you all the dates and everything that you need uh, for that and there's a list of other things I've got written down here which we'll go through as we uh, carry on with this morning so I intend to be here for a couple of hours this morning I have actually managed to get my other iPad here this morning so I've got a bit more of a clue what's going on normally I'm winging it with absolutely no idea who's watching me but I've got it working here this morning now um, just to say for those of you that are joining us this morning at 11 o'clock we will be stopping for two minutes we will not be disconnecting the live we will be putting up a picture of some painted poppies and we will be having the two minute silence or we will be marking the two minute silence with that picture uh, during that time so the live will continue to run so don't disconnect and leave me stay with me um, but we will be marking that two minute silence at 11 o'clock and I will um, mention that again as we approach it because um, yes it's not yet it's another hour or so but I have got my um, little marker up here this morning to remind me that's what I need to do. Uh, so today we are going to be having a look at some of the new Christmas stuff we've also got stuff from last year that I've now obviously invented new stuff for you to go all together so we're going to have a look at that as well um, including last week or week before last we did uh, Christmas jumpers which obviously everybody absolutely loved and now we're going to be doing snow globes today as well so we do Christmas jumpers and snow globes every year except we normally change all the patterns and bits and pieces so we've got all new patterns for you to have a look at um, later on but we're going to start with the school which is where we normally start uh, shortly so just we wait for a few more people to come on I'm just going to show you one particular item from the school that's very popular that I actually put a new background on to this year so I'm very pleased with this one um, this is the new um, Christmas this is an edible Christmas wreath we have lots of people doing um, Christmas wreaths and bits and pieces and um, this one here is an edible one and that is available on the cake school now let me just turn the address over there there we go so we're looking at the cake score uh, cake school at the moment I've just spotted bonjour from Paris coming up on here so I'm now going to address this so <laughs> yesterday I was on a school reunion and my friend Nicola who lives in Paris and um, my other friends Zaban and Vicky and Emma we all met up yesterday for the first time um, we've been known each other for about 40 years but it's about 37 years since we've all been together and Nicola has decided to join my live this morning which is great because I can't speak any French whatsoever even though she's English um, <laughs> if you see anything French coming up that is Nicola um, so yes there are some pictures up on my Instagram of that it's so nice to see friends after such a long period of time and the fact that none of us have changed so we might all have got a little bit older but we are all still very much the same people People. so if you do get ever get the opportunity to do a school reunion I recommend it completely um we had a lovely time yesterday so hello Nicola just so that I've got that done and then I can carry on with what I'm meant to be doing um so let's go back to Cake International for a minute before we jump too far ahead with the classes so let's go back to Let's Shop Cake Live for those of you that are joining me for the first time it, this is me in a muddle <laughs> this is what it's normally like um so we had Cake International last week so last weekend i did a series of lives from cake international so if you were there you obviously would have seen everything but if you weren't there and you wanted the opportunity to look at the competition stuff then you would now be able to go to my other facebook page which is this one at tracy man cakes and you'll see a number of videos on there where you'll be able to see um the competition stuff itself because it was an amazing show and actually we met a lot of you some of you have already come in or making comments about me um, we met a lot of you there which was really nice for us and that's why we go as well because we really wanted to go and interact with people and as somebody's just put out there we wanted to give you the opportunity to try cake painting because every time I come on here and I talk about cake painting and we found this at Cake International last year we talked about cake painting and then people would go oh no I don't do painting and walk away when we actually got people to sit down and do it they actually realized actually it's a really nice thing to do and it is a really nice thing to do um, and for that reason there is going to be a live on Thursday evening this week so where are we let me find the picture it's the same ones I had at Cake International because I thought that would be quite relevant. Now I'm leaving my Facebook address up at the moment because that is where the live is going to be held. There's no point in coming here because you won't find it. The live will be running from this Facebook page 
on th uh, Tuesday evening at seven o'clock and it will also be streaming live on my YouTube channel as well which ironically has the same address. We are also streaming out of uh, YouTube at the moment so if you are ever struggling to get a signal then go across to YouTube and you will be able to pick us up on there as well. So we do stream both at the same time. So this is going to be a live that's going out on Tuesday evening seven o'clock this week. Um, this is what we had at Cake International. This is what we were helping people to paint. So if you have bought a kit or if you're thinking about buying a kit or you'd like to buy the cute characters which are up on the screen, um, then we will have all of those things available for you. We've just had a very big delivery from Patchwork Cutters, which is what this is up on the screen at the moment. Um, the only thing we are struggling with to get hold of at the moment is the reindeer cutter because um, we've used so many of them and we've sold so many of them. Marion's completely sold out. So there will be a delay with anybody organising or wanting to have the um, cookie cutter for that one, which is the reindeer one. Not the little one that's on the screen, it's the big one. I was just trying to see if I could find a picture of it, but I can't. It has not appeared on my screen. Um, most people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and if they don't, I'll make it up anyway. <laughs> Let's take that down. Okay, so um, yes, live on Tuesday evening, at, starting at seven o'clock, learning how to do some painting. So we already have done quite a significant amount of beginners cocoa butter painting live. Um, our actual beginners cocoa butter painting course is this one here that's on the screen at the moment. Now that one is available now. So it means if you want to have a go at actually doing it, this is not patchwork cutters. I'm going to go through patchwork cutters shortly. So you've got a better understanding of the difference. Um, but when we teach on our school, so our online school, we don't use patchwork cutters. Uh, I think we've got one course that's got a patchwork cutter. The rest of them are all um, done with our images that we give you and you download. Um, so this one here is our new beginners Christmas course. We will, of course, be launching into January um, with our other beginners class, which everybody normally jumps on board and loves and has a nice certificate with it. So if you fancy having a go at that, we will be having that coming in January as well. Uh, there's our lovely certificate. So that's something to um, get your teeth into and get before um, <laughs> Christmas. And then on top of that, to go with the course, there is the beginners cocoa butter cake painting kit. Now, lots of you have bought these already. Um, if you want to now sign up for the course, you do need to go to the address that's on the screen at the moment. Um, you can either buy the course outright to keep it, and it's £30 at the moment, it's on offer, or you can join as a monthly member. Now, the monthly membership for this particular course is either gold, silver or bronze. But what you need to do is go to the school and you need to look at the options and work out which one is best for you because um, each um, membership gives you access to different areas. And I want to make sure that obviously you've got the access that you want. You can always change your membership later on. But if you do want to join us on this particular course, then that's where you need to go. You need to pop over to the cake school and the address that's shown on the screen at the moment. And you will find those there. So we've had lots of people signing up for this. They are going to be really lovely images that you can then put onto your cakes. We're just going to run a very, very short video that you will go. Well, I'm going to stop it if it goes on too long um, <laughs> of what it looks like to be on one of my courses. Because, again, it's that same old thing which we talked about at Cake International. It's very easy for me to say my course is brilliant and this is what it all looks like. But we're going to run a short video now so you can actually see what you're buying into so you can understand it so lots of cake videos um, tutorials and that tend to show the presenter quite a lot doing all these bits and pieces because this is a painting course by the introduction and the end you won't see me you'll hear me but you won't see me um, and you will see what I'm painting and what is next to me so it's a very clear instruction so fingers crossed I'm just going to run this video now hopefully it'll work
have I stopped that video? I'm not sure I did. I think I did. <laughs> Interrupting myself there. Let me just check I've stopped it. I have stopped the video. That's good. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to be talking over a video. So that gives you an idea of what it looks like. So that's the view you get from an online course. Um, when you go into a classroom and learn um, cake painting, you can be at quite a distance from the teacher. And although walking around the class is very helpful and it shows you what to do, you cannot be having a camera directly, literally sitting on my shoulder and looking at what I'm doing and that's the point of this it's being able to show you exactly what you can do very quickly by following along these instructions and I was explaining to other people that when you log into our school then you'll find that it is your login area it's nobody else's it's yours so if you go in there they're all pre-recorded classes so you can do them at any time so if you want to paint at midnight or three o'clock in the morning uh, I will be there but as a pre-recorded <laughs> um, you follow along and when you've had enough and you stop then when you return back to it, it will be in exactly the same place as where you stopped. So you will be able to log back in and have another go. It's as simple as that. So it is very much your own area for you to follow. So the beginners has been something we've talked about quite a bit. And obviously we do have the January one coming as well. So if you're starting to feel the momentum of Christmas um, and you want to then have a go maybe in January, there is a beginner's cocoa butter painting course as well with a certificate. So if you would like to do that in January, do have a look at the cake school as well. So we've had lots of new Christmas classes coming out. The one that's coming out today is this one. Let me just turn that there a little bit so you can see it. There it is. This one comes out today. This is the, uh, the widely anticipated winter scene. Um, it will be out this afternoon. I've just got to go home and press a few buttons to make sure it's all working. Uh, but you will find that today. Sorry, I'm just leaning over my camera and changing the screen that I've got on my other thing so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so this one will be out later today. Um, for those of you that are already gold members or those of you that are um, silver members, let's get both of you in there. You will automatically find this appear in your login area later today. For those of you that have bought the course, there are a few of you that have bought the course separately. You will find they will appear shortly as well so you'll be able to find that and join in and if you have any questions about it then please let me know so if you're finding that you don't you know can't understand what I'm doing or anything then you just need to get in contact with me and I will be more than happy to help you that's the whole purpose of this is that we want you to we want you to enjoy it so <laughs> we want you to enjoy it so there we go it is a really lovely one it looks like a Christmas card to be honest that's what I went for I went for that kind of 1970s traditional kind of Christmas card look with this and they're so keen on cake painting are my gold members that they um, have been supplied with now one to do so I'm looking forward to seeing how they get on uh, that's what I want to see <laughs> so if you fancy having a go at that the only tricky part with this one are the little birds in the corner which I do talk about on the course as well just to kind of how to get over that particular um, part on there if I hold the cake up you'll be able to see them there there they are the little devils hey <laughs> such an innocent thing to see and then you think oh my goodness me why is this tricky well it is tricky but you will be fine because you're going to follow my lovely instructions and it's all going to be great so I've set this up on an eight inch square cake I've done very much this time to try and do my um, Christmas projects on cakes that you can then that perhaps you've made in advance like fruit cakes those kinds of things there are other different, more traditional type cakes. If you fancy having a go, at something floral. Um, we do a really nice poinsettia cake as well, which is painted on an eight inch round cake. Um, so if you have some time and you fancy doing that or you want to paint it onto uh, a cake straight away, you can. For those of you that want to have a quick look at the, med uh, the um, not Mediterranean, because I've just seen that word, um, <laughs> the winter scene one again, I've just got a very short video that you can have a look at that shows you what the course looks like.
I'm just going to interrupt myself there and show you back to the picture there. So you can see with the video that I've just shown you just how far back um, the cake pictures have to go until you get to the point where you are at this stage here. So you can see um, that it, with, like with anything, it's very much a case of building the picture. So you start from scratch and you basically add to it. It's no different from doing a novelty cake. Sometimes when you do a novelty cake, um, you start off and it looks absolutely horrendous for about, well, certainly over half of it. And then suddenly it turns a corner and you can see um, your results. So this is painting is very much like that. Um, a really good example of this is the tiger one that we do because that one is particularly um, uh, <laughs> worrying when you're painting it because you look at it and you think this is never going to work. Um, there's another one coming up here now which is a penguin one which we had last year. That one is still available. They're all available. In fact I think on my school alone I think there's something like um, I think there's nearly 30 Christmas cake painting projects. So there's an awful lot to choose from on there. I'm just pointing out a few of the highlights this morning, um, just so that you can see and um, make your choice as to what you're going to do with your cakes this year. And then shortly we will move on and we will have a look at some of the other things that you can do. So if painting isn't for you, then of course I've got loads of other options for you because that's the way we roll. <laughs> um, don't forget, of course, cupcakes there. There we go. So don't forget that one is also also available on the membership so it's available on gold membership we have the kits as well in if you want to make this one um, we have the kits the candle and the kit together we have either the base on its own or the base and the candle so if you want to have a go at that one just go to the site and you'll see it's a Christmas wreath kit that's listed on let shop cake live not on here right okay I'm gonna switch a few things over I will reappear. <laughs> right, okay, so um, that is a, a little summary of the classes that we've got going on at the moment. Um, there are many coming out, it says and that winter scene one will be out today. Next week, I think it's the bird, um, but there are coming out weekly at the moment because obviously we're approaching Christmas now quite quickly. Um, so a couple of things just to say as we start to now look at um, the new stuff that we're going to go through this morning. So some of the cookie cutter ideas, those kinds of things um, with the post. So I've had a couple of people message me and go, how long is my stuff going to take? We use Royal Mail. We don't use anything else. And we are at the mercy of Royal Mail. Now, at the moment, it seems to be functioning really well. But we all know by the time it gets to the end of the month, it all starts to go a little bit pear shaped. So if you are looking to order stuff and you want it quickly, please order it as soon as possible. Uh, please bear with us. Please bear in mind that we don't control what the postman does. We will dispatch your order as soon as we can. Uh, you'll get a notification to say it's been sent. All of our posts goes out second class. Um, some of it goes recorded. Um, and then you will just have to wait for it, I'm afraid, and go from there. But we are working all the time on getting everything out as quickly as possible. So please bear with us. Um, there is a lot to do at this time of year, but we are working on it. So unfortunately, we don't have the capacity that Amazon has. So we can't give you uh, immediate deliveries and up to date uh, constant text messaging to let you know where everything is. Royal Mail is where we use send our posts. So please just bear in mind that's where it's coming. So keep an eye on it. If you get anything like any funny emails about, you know, your order is on its way and it feels like a scam, it is only Royal Mail from us. So just wait for that and don't answer any of those funny emails. Um, right, so there we go. Um, so I'd like to say hello to all of you people that are joining us here from Cake International that have joined us this time. Um, we are live most Saturday mornings. We will be live next Saturday as well at 10 o'clock and the following Saturday at 10 o'clock. So what during November, we're very, very busy here. And then it tends to drop to a little bit more seasonal as we go through the rest of the year. But I will be live for the next two Saturdays in the morning, showing you lots of ideas for Christmas. So let's get started and have a look. So your dress up on the screen is where you'll find all our products. Tracy Mann Cake School is where you find all the classes. Um, this is a live. So if you are watching live, then you are very welcome to comment, ask questions, and I'll do everything I can to answer them. If I can't answer them when I'm live, then I will have a look afterwards, or you are very welcome to get in contact with me after the live, because sometimes when it finishes, um, people watch it in the evening, absolutely fine, we're all busy. Um, but if you do want to catch up with me then and ask a question, then do go via the website, um, which is letshopcakelive.co.uk 
go through to the contact information page and send me an email. Um, you have all weekend to place your orders. By Monday at 10 o'clock, we will start dispatching the orders. So if you have placed an order over the weekend and then you suddenly think, oh, I need something else, you are welcome to place a second order and we will then combine the postage and we will refund you at the point of dispatch. So when we get round to actually sending out your products, we will refund your second lot of postage. Um, but you will have to place your order that way for us in order to be able to um, process it. So I'm looking at my list. <laughs> you can't see me looking down and I have a list. I can't do that list because I have no memory capacity anymore. It's all gone. Um, it's all gone with my age. Um, so let's have a start today. Let's see where we're going to have a look at. So we are going to um, have a look at the patchwork cutters. That's what I was going to get. Let me go and pick those up from over here. We have got the Christmas patchwork cutters in the cute characters. Let's have a look at these. I'm going to just talk you through what these are all about. There we go. So these are all up on Let's Shop Cake Live. Right, so these went with me to Cake International. I've just about made it back. Um, and they are the cute characters. Let me get them out for you. Here they go. From patchwork cutters. Now these are the ones I'm going to be demonstrating on Tuesday evening this week. Okay, so those are all the little characters that are included. You'll also notice there is a Christmas tree and a stocking. Now they belong to another set, which is called. Let me find it under here. Just check the stockings in there. Yes, it is. This one is called Christmas Midi. Now, Christmas Midi has only just come in, um, but this one includes the Christmas tree and the stocking. That's these two here. This kit here includes the penguin, the reindeer, the gingerbread man and the snowman. There is also a robin as well, but I didn't paint him. I just did those four and then these two out of this kit here. So we will be looking at all of these on Tuesday evening. The Christmas midi set is available, well, they're both available online now at the moment. The one that we're really short of is the reindeer patchwork cutter. That's the one that um, is going to cause delays at the moment. The other one that we had at Cake International is this one, which is called Christmas Stocking. So this one's got a few presents in it. This one here, if I hold it up closely, actually the picture might be better, um, has got a little teddy in it, a present and some holly. And it's a small one and a large one. So you get two different sizes there. So you get sort of a cupcake size. And then this one you could perhaps push into a cake um, and you could paint it that way. So there's two different sizes in that packet. This one, everything is the same size. You see the little snowman. They are smaller than the cute characters. The cute characters fit quite nicely on there. Now I did get out this one. So this is something else I did last year, which is the, uh, now this one is called Christmas Trees and Parcels. You will find all of this on Let's Shop Kate Live. There are no links going up today because um, Kelly's not available but if you do go and have a look at the website and scroll down you'll find it in there if not go into cake supplies on that site and go into patchwork cutters and you will find it on there so with this I painted the tree and the parcel so these two come together as a set and then I put the little reindeer here from cute characters and I sat him on top of a little parcel so that makes up a really nice topper for a Christmas cake this board here um, I think it's a, I'm looking at it, I think it's a nine inch round. So if you've got a nine inch cake or an eight inch cake, you could just about do it with an eight inch cake, then you will be able to do um, something along those lines here. Ooh, we've got some links going up, so maybe, I'm not sure who's watching, I'll find out in a second. Somebody's watching and putting links up for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, if not, just go to Let's Shop Cake Live, you'll find it all on there anyway. You should be able to find it, I hope so anyway. Um, Oh, lady called Claire. Thank you, Claire. That's very kind of you. I think Kelly is, um, well, Kelly is coming home today. Kelly is my daughter. I'm always talking about Kelly. Uh, Kelly is coming back today and she's normally in charge of all my links, but she's probably still asleep at the moment. So <laughs> she will be coming home from the Netherlands today. So yeah, you will find these on there. So that's cute characters, Christmas parcels um, and Christmas tree is another set from Patchwork Cutters. And then also Christmas midi, if you want to do either of those two. Christmas stocking is this one on its own, which is a large and a small. And then the cute characters is this one here. But I will be running through these in more detail 
um, on Tuesday evening. So if you want to join me then over on my other page at Tracy Pancakes, you will find it there. Just to let you know, um, this is the one I was talking about that's becoming a little bit tricky to get hold of. This is the one called Reindeers. Um, you can order it on the site, but there will be a delay because we're waiting for Marion to restock these. I think potentially I might have one or two and then that's it. Um, it happens, I think it happened last year as well because everybody went mad and thought this is the most amazing cutter ever, which of course it is, and uh, they've run out. So it doesn't matter, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> it's not a problem, we will get there. Um, right, okay, so we're gonna move those out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at snow globes today. Now I've already done several TikToks this week. So for those of you that watch TikTok, I do videos now where you can follow along. So videos where, well they're not follow along, they're one minute videos. On this live here, we have the slowed down version. So you can watch the whole thing being done at a nice slow pace. If you need a reminder, cause you've bought a snow globe cookie cutter, for example, then you can go to TikTok and you can watch it and you will see um, the video in under a minute. If you haven't got TikTok, which which is absolutely fine. You can also just watch on here because I post all my videos on here and on my Instagram and my um, so other Facebook page as well. So you'll see them around. Um, I don't want you to go and download TikTok if you don't want it, but you will see those videos around and they are meant to be acting as a prompt for you so that you can um, remind yourself how to do the cookie cutter that you have bought. So it's quite important. Right, let's crack on. Let's have a look at the snow globes. We're going to look at the snow globes. We're going to look at the reindeer. We're going to look at the teddy and we're going to look at the Christmas hats today. So we've got all of those to look at today. There are a couple of new cookie cutters on the Let's Shop page. You'll see there's candy canes have appeared and um, we're going to go through the snow globe new discs today. So we've got mini snow globes and large snow globes. For those of you that haven't joined me before and seen our snow globe phenomena, um, we have snow globe cookie cutters which are full of, we have loads of videos and bits and pieces on them. Uh, we're very, very keen on them. I think I'm hiding it well. Um, <laughs> we're going to go through those now. Right, let me just move everything out of the way. I can see the first floor in this plan and that's actually I've forgotten to pick up the snow globe cookie cutter so I'm just going to put those there for a second while I run around the other side there they are oh thank goodness it wasn't far away so this one is one I have done this um, you'll see this one on TikTok I did it as a video it went out yesterday so if you want to see how that one's put together I'm now going to do a slow version of this one but we're going to do it with a different um a topper so I've got this silly lighter I just need to light this candle hold on set that up there we go right I'll explain that in a second okay let's come back on screen so the snow globe cookie cutter looks like that it also has a matching center which I can't find mine at the moment it's around somewhere but this is exactly the same size but they match together and if you watch the video you will see how it's run through but it's basically made up of two pieces so we have let's put you there you will need to cut out one whole one like that and then you'll need to cut out a second one like that and then cut the middle out. Now you will see on the video that I have cut the middle out when it's on the baking tray. Because as you can imagine, if you then went to pick that up, it's all going to stretch um, and you're going to lose its shape. So it's super important that when you cut these centres out on these, you do actually cut them out on the baking tray in situ. And it, it does show you in that video. And also, if you're worried that the shape has been distorted at all, you can put the cookie cutter back over and reshape it because that has got to sit on that. And you can imagine if it isn't the right shape, then you're going to have a problem. So it's really, really important that you follow those instructions for that. We also have a mini snow globe. There it is. That's our little mini one. This one is for cupcake size. So we usually make lots and lots of different cupcakes that sit on top of um, cakes for Christmas as well. We usually demonstrate the larger ones so that you can see it more clearly. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm just going to talk you through some of the new sheets that we've got because we've got some new sheets. We've got the same ones as last year, but we have new ones for Christmas as well. Very exciting. It's nice to have some different things for Christmas. So let's have a little look at what we've got. I've got an absolute packet of them here. So let's have a little look. So last year's one. Now we do do a kit. We do a um we do one called um snow globe cookie kit now the snow globe cookie kit includes the snow globe 
cutters. It includes some of our white sprinkles, Kelly's white sprinkles, which is what we originally bought these for. I'll just show you what they look like. We use them on literally everything. Um, and some of these cutouts. So we have got, so this is one we had last year. So we're still continuing this one because we love it. It's the best thing ever. So this is the snowman and Father Christmas. So I'm just going to run through these one by one. We have got the Christmas cottage. There you go. You can see the lovely Christmas cottage there. Talk about a snow globe classic. That I think is very much a snow globe classic. We have got the teddy. There he is. So if you want to do something a bit more for maybe like um, schools or that kind of thing, then you'll be able to do those. We have got these ones here. This is penguin and reindeer. So this came from the first year round as well. But again, it is so popular. We keep bringing it back. And then we have got gingerbread man with his gingerbread house. So if you fancy a gingerbread type theme, then you can go with that as well. I'm going to answer that question that's up on the screen in a minute when I go back to icing them, but I'm just going to finish showing you the new things first. So that's all our stuff that we've had in the past. So these are all our sheets that are still currently available, but they are last year's designs. And we're now going to run through the new stuff so you can have a little look at what we've got this year. So this year's new snow globe designs, we have a gonk, of course we do, with a very lovely looking snowman as well so i'm going to just bring those right up close on screen so you can see those so we've got the christmas gonk and we have got the little snowman together so that's sheet number one all right where are we i've been chopping at one of these <laughs> This is the second sheet. There you go. You can see it's missing there. So this is the penguin. So you can see the penguin there. And he is on the same sheet as a uh, Christmas car with a lovely Christmas tree in the back of it. So those two are together. So there's eight discs on a sheet. They are snow globe size. They are not um, cupcake size. They are bigger than cupcakes. But we have other things that we do with cupcakes, which we will cover next week um, with the smaller snow globes. Right, let me find the other one. So, so we've got those two sheets there. We have gone very traditional as well this year. So we do have a set of really lovely winter animals that we have got together with little Christmas trees. So we've got a rabbit, we've got a squirrel and we've got a fox. And I just thought they were so lovely because I quite like with Christmas to do, it's, it's nice to have the fun stuff, but it's also quite nice to have the very traditional looking stuff as well. So I have got these as well this year, which are little woodland creatures so there's three foxes three squirrels and two rabbits so there's eight on a sheet for that one I'll hold that down there a little bit and then you'll be able to see it like so I also then decided that the robin is such a classic that Royal Robin had to have his own sheet so we have got a very traditional robin that fits very nicely into the snow globe there so you'll be able to see him there he's a really lovely looking robin there we go so if you like robins this is for you this is to go inside your snow globe um, i wanted to offer as i say lots of different things this year and i think the robin is very much a traditional one he's a bit like the christmas cottage isn't it it's all that kind of I'll try and find him now where's the christmas cottage gone there it is i'll put these two together okay you can see that's so traditionally Christmas, isn't it? So if you want to do the traditional route, those are the ones that are available for that. So it's going to be a whole sheet of robins or a whole sheet of Christmas cottages. OK, now, of course, we do the mini snow globe, which we're going to. So there we go. This is the mini one. We have two sheets for mini snow globes. So this is all the new ones together. All right. Not the animals at the moment. I might get around to doing the animals, but we have got the car, the gonk, the penguin and the little snowman there at the bottom. They are all available on a sheet. One, two, three, I think there's 32 of them in total. Um, so you'll be able to do 32 cupcakes, of course, because that's how many you're going to need to do this, um, which will easily come out of one cookie mix, I would have thought. Um, and those are the new mini Christmas centres. 
We talked last week about the gonk sheet, which I'm going to use again later on. So this is an edible sheet. You can see I've cut a bit out from the bottom there. It's a sugar paste sheet with a printed design on it. And we use that for all sorts of different things. So we're going to be running through a couple of bits and pieces to use that later on. Just a word on the gonk transfer sheet. So transfer sheets are mainly for chocolate. If you are looking for the gonk transfer sheets, we've only got about 15 of them left now. So if you do want them, that is something you definitely need to get on an order because they are no longer available for me to order. And once they go out of stock, that's it. We've had a really big run on transfer sheets this year. I'm not too sure why or what I've done, um, but we have got a big run on transfers. So Hats and Canes is already sold out. Gingerbread Man, I think, is already sold out. We've still got Snowman and Squiggle Christmas and a few other bits and pieces. But if it, again, it's something you particularly want don't leave it because it's not going to last. Our other new sheet to accompany this one, we also have the gingerbread house, which we had last week as well. So I'll just bring that in so we haven't forgotten that one. There it is. That's our gingerbread house. Our new one for this year or this at the moment is this lovely little print here. And this is um, a fox and a deer together. And I just thought it was just so lovely. It's so sweet. And we've been using these on various different things, which I will show you shortly as we go through the morning and show you what you can do with these sheets. But again, you just peel them back and you cut them out and they are edible but they're very very pretty and this this to me is very much kind of like I don't know baby's first Christmas that kind of thing or just that whole kind of cute thing but it's very very sweet so the sheets are the gingerbread men the gonks and the little deer and the fox at the moment okay we also covered Christmas jumpers last week, but I'm going to go over those again shortly when we actually get them all out. But for now, I'm just going to clear up my little area and we're going to get going with the, the lovely snow globe, which I happen to be completely obsessed with. Um, <laughs> let me show you how to put these together and say there is a super speedy version on TikTok. So if that's something you want to watch, do please go over and have a look at it. But I will now show you in slow motion how to do all of this. For those of you that are joining me for the first time, I'm going to introduce you to my lovely chrome food warmer. Now, the chrome food warmer, there it is, has got a little tea light on the bottom there and a metal paint palette on top. And this gets very hot. And we then add in this product here, which is called cocoa butter, which looks like this. We sell this individually. So if you want to buy a packet of it, um it's on our website you can also it is included in the kits as well and you don't need very much where you can see a little bit of it melting there now because obviously the metal paint palette's hot so once it goes to a liquid we can then start painting with it so that's the process that's what we talked about cake international and we showed people what to do we have metal paint palettes on our website um in terms of the chrome food warmers we normally point you towards amazon to get those because they're roughly about five pounds um and you can pick Pick those up from there right okay so the thing that we use to um, paint with are dusting colors so we will use something like this which is this is a color splash white um, which actually I've got an open one already yes I have let's use one that's open I'm gonna pop in there now you have to be a bit careful with white if you live in the United Kingdom um, you need to use something that's got this E171 in it because that paints up as a true white. If you're living outside of the EU, uh, let me think this, let me get this right. No, if you're living in the EU, um, I'm afraid E171 is now not available to you. Um, there is white food colouring alternatives and they look white, but they paint up a rather sort of grey colour. So I'm hoping science is going to advance soon and give us something that's just as good as that. So fingers crossed. So I've got a little bit of paint in there. Um, I'm just going to grab another colour, actually. I'm just seeing what I did with my paint bag because in my brilliant organisation, I've emptied it. because so I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> I've come back from the cake show. And I emptied my bag somewhere. So let's just have a little rummage. I'm really rummaging in the background. Right, let me have a look. See what I've done with all my colours. Oh, there they are. They could not be far away. So I've got my little bag of colours here. So we just use dusting colours. Nothing too complicated. And um, we just put a little bit of black in there. You don't need very much. I mean, I'm actually putting in more than I need. But that's okay. 
and they're not too expensive to keep replacing either they're they're quite reasonable so you're going to make your cookies i'm just going to turn them that way so you can see how thick they are you don't have to make them too thick somebody asked me the question earlier do we need to make them too thick that's how thick we've made these this is obviously quite a vulnerable shape so i'd say this needs to be a tiny bit thicker maybe than this one and obviously when you stack them together which is what we're going to do it then does get quite thick you can stack them a third layer and put an isomalt um clear cover over the top so that you can actually kind of shake the cookies but if you want to go down that line I'm going to point you towards my YouTube channel because there is a video on there that shows you how to do that because it's quite um I'm not going to say dangerous but there's more risk because obviously the fact that it's um hot sugar it's better to watch it on there than on uh, let's shop cake live so we're doing the safer version on here so you can see exactly kind of how this works okay so we are going to let's get the toppers back we should have had a little vote really at this point shouldn't we as to which one we were going to do let's see what we've got here so we've done the penguins we don't want to do him let's do the gonk why don't we do him that would be good let's do a gonk one Okay, so you've got your sheet. Now, when these sheets come to you, just make sure that you don't um, leave them exposed to the air because what happens is they get they can get damp um, and then the backing sheet is very difficult to get off. So it's really important when you receive them that you keep them in the bag that we give them to you. So you're just going to take a pair of scissors and we're just going to cut round the bottom of these like so. So far, so good. These are really easy to make with kids and they're really effective. And if you don't want to make great big snow globes, you want to make little ones, then obviously we have the mini snow globe set as well, which works exactly the same way as what I'm showing you this morning. So it, I'm just showing you on the larger scale just so you can see it. So once you've cut that out, that bit obviously goes in the bin. And then there's a little bit of plastic behind here, which sometimes you can pull off before you cut. And that has to come off. And you can see that there coming off. You need to make sure as well that this is, if I put my finger in some water and touch it, the picture will come off because this is all food colouring on here. So it's really important as well that you keep that as dry as you possibly can. So what we're going to do is take hold of some royal icing. Um, if you haven't got any royal icing, then you could use a little bit of something like piping gel if you've got something along those lines. But I've got some here that's been quite sort of watered down. And then I'm just going to take hold of that and just paint that centre bit there like so. Now, cookies that you can normally do about a week to 10 days before you need them and just store them very carefully. So they're not something you need to do the night before. But if you do do them the night before, these are actually quite fun to do. So you'll be fine. So we're going to pop that on there like so. OK, we're just going to move that then out of the way. So we don't need that bit then for a minute. And we then move back to this one here and put our brush over here. I'm just going to put the lid back on so it doesn't dry out. And then we are going to pick up some navy blue sugar paste that I pre-mixed earlier. It's very organised. So this is Colour Splash Navy. I'm just going to take that bit off like that. So you can see you're not going to use a huge amount of sugar paste because obviously you're going to cut a massive great big centre bit out from there. Can you use melted cooled chocolate to fix them? You can use melted chocolate, um, tempered chocolate. So chocolate that you've melted, um, like Belgium chocolate that's gone through a process where you've been very careful with, you've melted them. Um, so 10 seconds stir, 10 seconds stir. And then, yes, you can put chocolate around here and you can fix it onto there. Whether I think you probably could fix it onto there, but you need to be super quick because the only other problem with that is if you don't do it super quick, it will dry and it will be very lumpy. You can also use I like that comment. Someone's just put up there a little bit of sugar paste. Take a little pinch of sugar paste, preferably white, mix it with water. That will make a sticky glue as well. So that works just as well. But you will need a little bit of royal icing to kind of finish these. So I suspect you may have royal icing on the go anyway. Right. OK, so just going to take hold of that. I'm going to move that out of the way because I definitely don't want to break that because otherwise I'll be in trouble. My whole demo will be ruined. I'll bring that down here a little bit. Right. So we'll get that rolled out. Okay, like 
So, so I've just rolled it out on a little bit of icing sugar, but you can use corn flour if you particularly want to. I always tend to use icing sugar. Take hold of the cookie cutter like so, press down, give it a little wiggle, and that's just to make sure it cuts through completely. All right, I'll pick that up and take that away. There we go. There is our shape, but obviously we need it with the centre cut out. So we we'll take hold of our other cutter that is included in the kit, although it's not this one. This is one I've just had to grab at the last minute before I went live. And we're then going to remove that part there. I didn't press down enough. Of course I didn't. There we go. Let's take that bit out. Oop, there we go. Now it doesn't matter that this bit has kind of moved around, but that's what I was saying to you about when you cut this cookie mix out. You don't want it to do that because that's no help to you at all. You need to cut that centre bit out actually when it's on the baking tray, otherwise it's going to really not work for you. If it's sugar paste, that's fine because we can move it around and adjust it. So we're going to take our royal icing again. And we're going to just paint that on there. So it's got something to stick to. Like so. And then we'll pick that up and we'll just lift it on carefully. And we'll pop it down and then we can just adjust it once we get it into position. It's much easier just to get it on there and then pull it around a little bit. Okay, so we can move it like so. Move that up a little bit. Okay. I think that's on there. There we go. Happy days. By the time we've done all that, you can see that the sugar, uh, the icing sugar that was on the surface is near enough come off. I'm going to take hold of then one of these plastic side scrapers and we're just going to mark the bottom of the globe like so there we go and then I'm going to just paint that purely because I just want it to look slightly different to the top part I'd like that to look darker so for that we're going to bring in our cocoa butter painting and we're going to grab a paintbrush I'm just going to grab a little bit of kitchen roll from over the side there we go and we're going to dip that into the cocoa butter just check that the paintbrush is all clean before we start which it is I'm going to take that dip that into the black dust and make our paint and then I'm just going to paint the bottom of here so you can do this whatever colour you like it's entirely up to you doesn't matter I just decided to do black the same as the penguin one and we'll do that across there you can do your snow globes in any colour so if you want to make this red or you want to make it black or you want to make it white or blue or pink or whatever you want to do you can move this around and make these yourself so they are quite fun to make you could also um obviously have lots of different discs as well they're nice things to make for like school bazaars or maybe like place names at christmas you know when you sit down at christmas and you've got your little snow globe there waiting that's quite fun isn't it okay so just give that a bit of a clean so that will remain a little bit sticky for about one or two minutes. So we'll try not to touch that for one or two minutes while we're waiting. Um, we're going to get some royal icing out now. This is um, what I'm saying about this earlier, although I've got the wrong nozzle in here. Let me just switch that over. What have I got in here? A five. Yeah, that's no good. Let's go to a two, just so it's a little bit more specific. And then I'm just going to literally hopefully there it comes put a little few dots going round the outside edge of my snow globe so again everything I'm doing for this would apply to the small one as well but also it's obviously on a much smaller scale there we go and then I'm going to take some snowflakes from my Christmas tree sprinkle mix so this is my Christmas tree sprinkle mix and in here you will find little tiny snowflakes that you can then stick onto here or you might decide you want to do something else but we sell this on its own we also sell it with the christmas tree kit so if you fancy making one of those 3d christmas kits um or 3d christmas trees then we have those kits in as well and those kits come with the tree mold the plastic box for holding your tree 
some uh, 400 grams of chocolate, which will make you one tree, uh, one full size tree and the mould itself, which obviously you can use as many times as you like. And then all you need to buy is a few more, um, a few more bags of chocolate, depending how many you want to do. So once I've done it like that, if I then want to add perhaps some more snow to the picture. So if I want to make it, you know, a little bit more interesting, I can turn this here. I can pop that into the cocoa butter. Let's grab a little bit of white here, mix up some white paint like so. Just make that there. Oh. So as long as that heat is maintained under here, then this paint will remain um, paintable, wet, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to use one of these then, which is called a dotting tool. It has a little tiny ball at the end of it. It's really good for making little tiny dots that are exactly round. If you try and do this with a paintbrush, you never get round dots. Um, you get anything but. So if you want an exact round dot, this is the stuff to use. Now we do have dotting tools, again, on the website. If you go to Let's Shop Kate Live, you will find it on there. Everything that I'm showing you is on the website. We do have snowflakes on their own, in their own um, little pack. So if you don't want to have the Christmas tree sprinkle mix, for example, you can just buy it on its own. And around we go. So I do tend to do all the decorating on this before I then put the two together. So I get all this bit done first. But you can see just how lovely it is. It's such a nice biscuit to make every Christmas. I love it. And that's why we bring out different centres every year. So you can make some different ones each year. So I think this is about the third, second or third year we've had this one. Possibly third. There we go. Let's bring that in there like that. So what we need to do now is put these two together. So we need to do that with some royal icing that's um, actually got a bit of, um, it's not runny, too runny because we need to glue it together. So we're going to just put this around the base here. So I'll just go around. You, once these have done, you will need to leave them to set because obviously they will fall apart otherwise. So it's really important that you just leave them to dry. There we go. Like so. And then we'll bring that forward. And then very carefully, we're going to pop that on top. There he is. Cool. Turn it round. And then I'm just going to take hold of my icing bag again and I'm just going to pipe at the bottom here some royal icing that I'm then, I'm going to build it up a little bit. I'm then going to attach some of my sprinkles. So these are my Kelly sprinkles little ones. There we are. And we're just going to pop those in there like so. And actually then the easiest way to get them to stick is tip them up and just push them in with your finger. That saves you getting them all over the place. Try and do it any other way. It definitely doesn't work. So I'm gonna pop those on like that. And then if you want to stick any additional ones further up in the snow globe, so if you want to just any excess ones that are there, I'm just gonna move those out. We'll tip those into there. Okay, so we don't have those anymore. There we go. And then, yes, you can either stick more on or you can take your royal icing and you can just pipe little tiny dots there as well. So if you fancy just piping a few little extra snow bits on here, you can do that. It'll be easier than trying to fix those tiny little balls on there. But anyway, that's another option for you there. There we go. And that is the Christmas snow globe. So it's very straightforward to make and it's exactly the same process for this one. Um, we also use the mini snow globe centres to do cupcakes and I will be going through that next week. I've already done it last year and we made really nice little wreath um, cupcakes. But you will, I think there's a video on them already, but I will go through it again so you can see them. So these are two of the new snow globe centres for the year. So I'm going to bring these up so you can see them. I've done them both in blue 
um, but they are really lovely aren't they so you can imagine doing all sorts of different colors with this you can have red outsides to bring out the red you can paint these a wooden color so perhaps if you prefer to paint them in brown you can paint them in brown so you've got more of a traditional looking snow globe you can pipe your little extra sprinkles in there or you can attach the little ones that have been included in the kit if you get the kit so there's lots of different options there i'll have to have these on a, on a vote i think on um, instagram to see which one you like the best uh, <laughs> so you might see those appearing later on today um but this one has been done as a tiktok this one i've just done as a slower vo version now so you've been able to see exactly how it is that you put them together so the christmas snow globes um new middles are out now you will find them on let's shop kate live along with the cookie cutters as well for those of you that have never done them before they are all available on there as well as the cocoa butter and the sprinkles and everything else that you do need in order to be able to put these together all right let me put those down there for a second while i just reorganize myself so the other thing we did last week was the christmas jumpers i'm just going to bring those back in briefly just so you can see those as we did run through these last week just pop those over there because what we will be doing there we go so there's the christmas jumper the mini ones and those are the large ones like so so these are the same principles as the snow globes so we start off with our christmas jumper cookie like so we're going to put our sugar paste on there we're going to sorry we're going to just put our royal icing on there now you can cut these out and put them straight onto the cookies if you want or you can back them up with a little bit of sugar paste i've done a bit of both actually this year to be honest so whichever you think is better for you if you want to do them straight onto the um let me find one hold on if you want to do them straight onto the biscuit you can so if we take hold of his our sheet here we can cut that one out like so so again these are on sheets of six you just take hold of your scissors and cut like this now while i'm cutting this out i'm going to tell you that at 11 o'clock we are going to be um, having the two minute silence on here what's going to happen is you will see a picture of some poppies that i've painted that will be going up on the screen during that two minute silence the live will continue to run um, but we will not be speaking during that two minutes so if you just hold on please for two minutes um, the live will then continue so this will be happening at 11 o'clock which is in the next three minutes that's how long i've got to get this christmas jumper <laughs> put together ah i will do it so we will be just going quiet at 11 o'clock for two minutes and then we will continue with everything else. We are going to be showing you the reindeer. We're going to remind you how to do the reindeer. And we're going to be looking at other bits and pieces as well. So we will be back, but the live will still be live. So we will not be taking it down. So if it suddenly looks like this, the screen is frozen, the screen will not have been frozen. It will just be still just for those two minutes let's move things around so if you want to put that straight onto the biscuit then we are just going to literally take hold of your icing and just pop it on there i normally do most of mine with sugar paste but if you want to just go straight for the biscuit you can there we go like so it's just one step less isn't it if you want to do them quickly don't think it makes a huge amount of difference it's just that whenever i've done anything that involves um painted images i tend to always back them up with sugar paste but i think on cookies you can just about get away with that so these are great for school bazaars that kind of thing so if you wanted to do a load of those we do have little red boxes which we worked out fitted the two little mini ones which fit very nicely onto cupcakes or you can turn it that way and the christmas jumper fits that way as well so these little red boxes have two different uses you either have them this way with two in them or this way with one in them these boxes have actually turned out to be very good they actually do fit quite a lot of things now um i'm on a i'm going to have a look at this now so the 11 o'clock two minute silence is coming up i am looking at the time at the moment i don't actually have a countdown so all i'm going to do as soon as i see it's turned 11 o'clock we are going to go over to the picture which hopefully i've put on here somewhere otherwise we're going to be looking at something completely different 
where is it? <laughs> Good job I look now, I've seen it. <laughs> That's okay, panic over. So yes, in a minute, we will be observing the two minute silence. Um, you will see the picture coming up of the poppies. We will not be speaking for two minutes. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's get back to what we were doing. So thank you very much for everybody for just observing that two minute silence, very important. So let's have a look now. Let's move these out of the way. And we're going to finish off today. Let's bring this back in. I've left you with a blank screen. So last week we had a look at our lovely Teddy who's now gained himself a very nice Christmas present. There he is. We're very pleased with him. Let's hold that up. So you can see those on there and we're going to finish the mini version of it today and we're going to do that with our new where is it where is it <laughs> i've got it our new little baby paper there it is oh, i love this it's like a little nursery thing isn't it it's very sweet so and we're going to show you how to do these let's pop that over there so i've just done a TikTok on this one so you will see that has now appeared on um, TikTok. I haven't shared it across social media yet, but I will, and that will be appearing shortly. Sorry, I'm just rummaging on the other side of the room for my cookie cutters, which I found. Actually, I'm going to do one completely from the beginning, but we'll do a mini version, shall we? Right, okay, let us go. Let's go. Where are we? Oh, let's press the buttons. Right. I need a minute to get my head round what I'm doing here. Okay, so there we go. Let's just run through this very quickly so we can see. Um, we're going to start with this colour here. This is autumn leaf. So autumn leaf is this colour here, which is a paste colour. There we go. It's a sugar flare colour. These pastes, they last forever and a day. They're literally indestructible. <laughs> you don't need very much to, in order to be able to make this colour so there we go so I'll give that a little bit of a need the only colour I can't see I've got is black actually but I think I'll do something different today just to keep myself occupied eh? keep myself interested there we go a little bit of icing sugar down I've actually made this out of gingerbread so you can see it's a different colour to the cookies I haven't just burnt this one <laughs> this is actually <laughs> a proper one right there we go so let's go that. Go. Okay. So we'll get that rolled out to start with. So again, these are nice, quick, simple things you can do at home. So I'm just 
just going to put a little bit of icing sugar on this before we cut it out. So I'll pop that on there, press down, give it a wiggle so it cuts right through. Take that away. Make sure we've got all the gel. Obviously cut something blue out prior to this so we're looking at it. So I'm going to press down now so I get all the detail from my from my teddy. There he is. Turn that over. Let's bring that out. There he is. There he is. He's got a little bit of blue on him. Obviously I was making a blue one then, wasn't I, before? Right. A little bit of royal icing on there. Like so. And then we'll pop that straight on top. There he is. So that's how you do that bit. Very easy, very straightforward. No problem at all. Now we also sell four millimetre black sprinkles that look like that. Okay, these are great for eyes. So if you've got to do eyes on anything, they do work really, really well. But you will need to glue them down. Because if you don't glue them down, they will fall off. It's as simple as that. So we just put a little tiny bit of royal icing there in the middle. I should have piped that in, but never mind, I forgot. It doesn't matter. We'll take hold of that and just pick that one up there a bit. That's why I'm a little... There we go, pop that on there like so. And then another one on there like that. So that's easy, isn't it? So you don't have to actually sort of worry about doing little balls of um, black paste or anything. You can just literally use those. We like easy. We don't do anything complicated on here. It's as straightforward as you can get it. Right, where's my little thing? Here it is. So let's do that next. So I'll put you there. So this is my little... Uh, picture so the easiest way to do this is turn it over for a start let me just move my teddies out of the way because I can't come up high enough on the screen otherwise I put that there there we go so if you go to the bottom corner and if you just line up the outside edge of the present you'll see the outside edge there like so because you do there is a, an element of guesswork when it comes to this because obviously um you can't completely get inside the present but I'm just going to mark a little line there I'm going to mark a line there where I know the top of the present is and across there. So that gives me, let me just get to the bottom there and mark there. So I know I've got to cut round about to there. All right, let's get my scissors. So we're going to go across there like so. There we are, straight to the top, which we know comes in about there. Obviously, you want, can line this up with the things you want to be able to see on these presents. This is just inspired by the idea behind sort of gift wrapping paper, you know, when you sort of get all these different wrapping papers. And I thought, oh, it'd be so nice to have a teddy holding a present. Wouldn't that be cool? It'd be so nice. So that's why he's got all these different wrapping papers that we've come up with this year, because I just think he looks really sweet with them. I'm just going to line that up a little bit better. And also you can then gear these up according to what people like. So if you've got someone who's really into gonks, we've got that gonk paper. We've obviously got um, gingerbread house, which is just very kind of traditional. I'm just going to get a little bit of water and we're just going to put that over there like so. Take that off, pop that on. So just stick that on with a little bit of water. Press it down. Make sure you don't get water on it. Remember what I said to you about that? We're going to make a little bow. All colours, what should we do? Let's see what we've got. What should we do? Let's go navy blue maybe for a change. So this is the tiny decoration mould. We do have a bow mould as well that's just bows on its own. Um, all different uh, little bows on here. Let's go for a mini bow. Why don't we do that today? Let's have a small one because he's a small bear, isn't he? So let's have a little present. So you just take your sugar paste, pop it into the mould take hold of a little palette knife there and just scrape that back so you've just got a little tiny bow there and then we just bend that back and then little, oh missed the tail on that one let me put a bit more tail in there didn't spot that till it came out let's do that again so push this in making sure of course you've got all of the sugar paste right to the outside edge and not miss a bit like I just did okay let's go again that's better 
if you look around the outside edge there you need everything to be right to the edge which it now is there we go so we've got a little tiny bow there that's nice and easy isn't it we don't have to make anything too complicated there um we'll just take hold of using my rather enormous brush but a tiny blob of of royal icing and we'll just pop your little bow on top of your present there like so there you go that's for you uh, we need him to be holding it because currently it looks like it's just sort of flat on him so we'll take two little bits of um, the same colour as his body so the autumn leaf colour just roll two bits together if you do it at the same time you can usually feel if they're the same size well hopefully anyway sometimes you can't but normally you can and then we'll just pop a little blob there little blob there blob there blob there and then what we'll do is we'll make a sort of teardrop shape we'll pop that on there like that so his hand is coming round the present again same thing there little teardrop shape pop that on there round the present so it's holding um and then we'll use what have we got uh let's use a scriber this is a scriber we've got these on our site as well but all you need to do is just mark his little paw prints in there so we'll just pop those on there like that so he's holding his present we'll make his feet a little bit more 3d as well so again we'll just take another little bit of sugar paste and we'll we'll roll it like so and then we'll pop that on again just making a bit of a sort of a cone shape i guess maybe not quite as much as the hands and then we'll just put some little markings on the top there where his feet are there he is you want to go the full hog with this and decorate the bear as well we could do because on tiny decorations we have so many little tiny accessories here we could do a little even smaller bow there's a little bow here and we could put that on teddy's head so if he's got a bow to match his his present that would be good wouldn't it let's do that so we'll grab some royal icing a little bit on there and we'll put that up there just at the top there like so then we're going to just paint whoop, some little dots of white I'm just doing the white first because that's what I've got on my brush a little tiny dot of white on his eyes there and there that just brightens them up a bit so he just looks like he's actually awake um, and then we'll just do his nose so again we'll just take a little bit of the um, icing take that um, we'll pop that on there and we'll press it down. So we've got the shape. And you can make this as thick or as thin as you want, or you don't even have to use this particular bit if you don't want to. You can just leave it flat. But for me, I think we do need a little bit of a, a nose going on. Right, what have I done with that cutting wheel? There it is. Perfect. And then you just take your cutting wheel, go round the outside edge of this. Like so. There we go. And then again, tiny bit of royal icing, stick that on. Pop his nose on. There you go. And then what we'll do is we'll just paint some features onto him. So I'm just going to take my brush, grab a bit of black. Now I've already got some white on my brush, so it will make it less harsh. If I just paint with neat black, it's going to be quite hard. So if I leave my white on my brush, I'll get more like a dark grey colour. And that won't then be quite so harsh. So we'll just do his nose first. We'll just paint that centre bit in there. Like so. so this bear is called Teddy Bear with a present. He's available in large and small. So if you want to do mini ones for your cupcakes, this is the mini. If you want to do larger ones to go in little boxes. And again, he does fit inside our red boxes. Then you can get him like that. Let's give him a smile. You can always use um, an edible pen if you prefer to do it rather than painting it. So we've got edible pens on the website as well, black pens. So if you want to do that, you can. There we go. There's our little bear. Um, he has got, um, I'm going to just pale this right down. You can mark his ears in as well if you want to. And I'll do that with a little bit of grey maybe. And we'll just do that at the top here and just put a little insert for his ear. Just so it's not completely flat. There we go. Like that. There we go. 
I'm chatting away to them. <laughs> right, so that's the little mini one and he has got there the new fox and deer present. You can see that on there. I'm holding this up as close as I can without it blurring out too much. There we go. Um, so that's all the sheets that we've got at the moment. So this is the deer and the fox. We have got the gonk which is obviously the larger version so if I turn that around like that you'll see how much bigger he is um, this one does fit on a cupcake this one is just a, a cookie that will fit inside the boxes that I showed you a minute ago that go with the jumpers um, and then we've got this one here which we did with the gingerbread using tiny decorations mold this mold is one called bow mold and again you will find them on the address showing on the screen which is let's shop cake live if you can't find anything then do please let me know because i'll be more than happy to point you in the right direction and show you exactly where everything is now we are steaming through quite quickly today because it's christmas because there's lots and lots of things to show you we are going near enough straight on to the next thing so that i can fit it all in within two hours <laughs> this one that's coming up next has been uh, recorded as, in fact, I've recorded them all, I think. This one has been recorded as a TikTok and it is coming out shortly. It is one from last year. We are not going to be doing a mini version of this one because it's too detailed. So we only have one size of this. I'm just gonna move my teddies out of the way. And it's our reindeer. And he is so nice and he is so quick to do. I thought I'm going to run through this with you because I know that one, some of you will already have him, some of you will want to do him again, and this will act as a reminder as to what to do. So let's do him next. So this is the reindeer from last year. I'll be going to get him going and show you what to do. And he does fit really nicely in our little red boxes. So again, if you want to make him up for a present for somebody, he is great in those boxes. Right, a little bit of icing sugar down. So we're starting with white. So we're going to give it a background and that will become a bit more apparent later on as to why we're doing that. Otherwise, um, it does look a bit weird. So you do need to put white down first. So just roll out our sugar paste. You don't need to make it too thick. There we go. Let's get our plastic side scraper back again. Put a little bit of icing sugar on there to stop it sticking. Pop that on there, grab your cutter, press it down. We have got these in stock now. If anybody is waiting for one of these, we'd like to have a go. I'm gonna go round, make sure it's all off. Take that away. And then we're going to flip it over. And we're gonna just press it down. So we're going to find the detail. Okay, it's down there somewhere. There it is. Make sure we've gone right out to his ears. Press out. And then we have the funny shape that we need. <laughs> We're going to take hold of some royal icing. We're going to put that straight onto our cookie. He does look a bit strange without his decoration, I must admit. There we are. Pop you on there but he is really quick to make and he is super lovely. All right, uh, autumn leaf colour, what have I done with you? So I have, there you are. Okay, so we're gonna grab the same colour that we just used for the teddy. So again, I've talked about this colour before. I use this on loads and loads of different projects because it's a really nice one to, to have. Put that there, bit more ice and sugar. Again, just have a little bit of a roll. So, so next week I will be live again at 10 o'clock and we will be going through some more Christmas things that we've got. So we will be slightly recapping but also going over some of the new stuff as well. We'll be making cupcakes next week so you'll be seeing how to put some Christmas cupcakes together. I'm going to pop that on there like so, press down, give it a wiggle, take that away. So yeah, Christmas cupcakes is your big thing. We're going to show you how to do it with the snow globe centres next week because that's a nice fun activity. Press that down. So we're going to make sure we've got all the reindeer covered because we need to be able to find the outside edge of it. I think we've got it all. We'll find out in a minute, won't we? We'll press it through. There he is. 
Right, so then we're going to take hold of, not the scriber, because that's not going to help me. <laughs> we're going to take hold of the uh, cutting wheel and we're going to go and cut round our, our reindeer. So round we go, cut the shape out, turn it around. And round that way, round we go. Up to there. Okay, and then along that. Okay, it doesn't need to be overly thick, just need to be able to get the shape. And then we'll just paint this bit here with just a little bit of, well, I've got royal icing actually, but it doesn't really matter. Royal icing or water, as long as the royal icing is not too thick, then that should be fine. Paint that little bit in there. Just going to trim your ears if that's okay. There we go. And we'll pop you on there like so. There he is. He's back again. I do love him though, he's so lovely. Right, there we go. We'll leave him sat there for the moment. Right, next thing we're going to do is well, first of all, we're going to clean up our paintbrush because it's got grey in it and I need white now. So we'll just make sure we put that into the cocoa butter and just give it a bit of a, a mix to get anything out that we don't want. That's all out. Grab some white. It's gone a bit thick. Okay, turn that round and then what we'll do is we'll just paint his eyes because they'll need to dry. So if we do those now, then while we move on and do other things, when we come back to this, they should be dry, ready for us to put other decorations on. Turn your back. So it, dry, it will dry really quickly, it won't be long. I'm making it sound like it's going to be a long time, but I want it to make sure it's really dry before we attempt to... There you go. I'll do anything else. Right, we need red. Let us find red in my bag of tricks. Rudolph has a red nose and we can oblige to that. There it is. We'll put a little bit of red in there. Around, grab a paintbrush, grab some red. I've still got the white on my brush, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. I'll just strip the colour back a little bit. And then we'll paint his nose. It'll still look red, even though there's a bit of white in it, it will still come out very red. So we'll paint that on. As I say, I've done a video of this already, which I haven't actually put out yet, but it will come out this week you'll be able to see how to do this at high speed. As maybe you bought the cutter last year, maybe you didn't use it, or maybe you did use it, now you've forgotten what to do. So hopefully this little video will help you to be able to work out what you're doing. I'm turning it round because my brush is going into the gaps. So if you wonder why I'm doing that, that is the reason why. Well, I've still got red on my brush. I'm just going to grab a little bit more white. and I'm just going to make up a little pink colour. So I'm going to just grab some white so I can put a little bit of pink in his ears. Easier for me to do that than it is to do anything else. I'm just going to literally grab some pink and go across there like so. is in there you go okay and then what we're going to do just clean my brush up again just going to go back to here and just make sure I've got a little bit more black mixed up because I want to be able to do his eyes in a second so I'm just going to grab some paint and just make sure I've got some black available there because this is getting dry it's almost dry That'll be our next thing. We're going to do his mouth while I've got my paintbrush on the go here. And we're literally just going to start from the centre and we're just going to do a little curved line that goes up the side of his mouth there, across like that. That's it. Okay, he's got a cheeky little smile. And we'll pop that on. 
and then let's take that out oh no i'll leave that black on for a minute because i need that in a minute we are going to use if i can find one yes i have one of these which is a another ball tool but a larger version of it and we're going to use this side to do his eyes clearly i've been doing them earlier and we're just going to pop that into the black paint press down and again press down i'm just going to go back and do that again because he's got a hole in his eye there we are like that nice and easy because it makes exact circles if you try and paint this it's so much harder so these are key pieces of equipment that you can use in order to be able to do this very quickly we're going to paint while they're drying what will we do with you we're going to give you some eyebrows i think you need those we'll give him some eyebrows just be careful with eyebrows because that can change his expression completely if they're very raised, he's going to look like he's in shock. And we'll give him some eyelashes. Why not have some eyelashes today? So just three little lines going across there. So one, two, three. Turn that back. We're still waiting for that to dry, but whilst that's drying, we will do the antlers, which are very straightforward to do as well. Just going to clean my brush out a little bit because it's getting a bit dirty and i need that ready for my white which i will need in a second right so for the antlers we're going to use black royal icing and we're going to pipe them on you could paint them on if you particularly want to but i think piping them makes them a little bit more 3d and a bit more interesting so all we're going to do is start from the center of the head here and we're going to pick it up we're going to come all the way around here like so follow this round and then curl it back on itself like so then we're going to start there we're going to come round like so and then we're going to go the other way on this one here like that and then we'll do the same with this one i find it easier to start this side don't ask me why and then we're going to go round to there okay we're going to come across here and down and then here and across oops lost that bit there like that so there's his antlers now we're going to go back to our christmas tree sprinkle mix and in here we have got some little colored um, balls that we can use on our tree but we can also use them on our antlers when i'm not chasing them around the table so we're going to put some little you could put snowflakes in them if you particularly want to it doesn't really matter it's your choice i'm just going to grab these and pop them on you could do them white and you could paint them if you want to do them like a, I don't know, gold colour or something. If you want to change the rules, you can. So I'm just grabbing them out of the bottom. They always go to the bottom, these. Of course they do, especially when I'm on a live. Okay, another one in there and then another one in there, like so. And then we're going to add just some white highlights to him because otherwise um, he does look like he's staring into space and we don't really want him to stare into space. We actually want him to look like he's awake. So again, we're just going to go for this tool here and we're just going to put a tiny little dot there and a tiny little dot there. There you are. A little bit more on that one. It's still wet, which is quite tricky, but I've got one I did earlier, so we can have a look at that one in a minute. Put a little dot on his nose. Um, actually, you could then put a second dot if you want to, just a slightly smaller one just next to it, just to act as a little highlight on the reindeer. I'm going to show you the one I did earlier because he's a little bit clearer than this one. There we go. So that is how to do the reindeer cookie. So he's nice and straightforward. Um, You've seen how I've done the eyes. You've seen how I've done the antlers. That's another reason why I'm using this one because I don't have to touch the antlers. <laughs> They're dry. Um, and I've done a video for this as well. So if you do want to 
get the reindeer cookie cutter it is available on the website now so you will be able to do that he is only available in large he is not available as a mini purely because of the amount of detail that's involved in this i did try and do one as a mini but you couldn't really see what was going on so we had to abandon that one and we've just gone for the large one and when i say large he's not absolutely massive anyway to be perfectly honest he's about seven centimeters i think yeah he's seven centimeters by eight centimeters so he's not huge but he does fit inside the little boxes that we have for the christmas jumpers etc he fits very nicely in there or you can turn him that way probably works better that way but you can put him in there with a bit of shredded paper um and then he looks very nice for christmas all you do with these i love these boxes because they've got nice clear lids so you can see exactly what's going on i'm just going to take the christmas jumpers out there pop my reindeer in there he is and then just pop that on there like so you could actually put a few snowflake sprinkles in there as well if you wanted to um just to kind of make the background a little bit more interesting but that is the reindeer cookie cutter so i've gone over him again because we had him last year and i know that you'll get your stuff out and you'll go what do i do with this so i've actually told you now what to do with it and hopefully that's acted as a bit of a reminder for what you need to do with our beloved reindeer we love him he's so nice we're moving on again very quickly <laughs> We have so much to get through today purely because Christmas is rapidly approaching and there is so much to do and I don't want anyone to miss out on anything so that's why we are moving through everything very rapidly today. Right I am just going to move a few things around to make my life a tiny bit easier so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, we have got, let me just find a nozzle I need, so I have to change nozzles here, there it is. You want to change your piping nozzle you just unscrew the end like that pop the new nozzle on place the adapter over the top and then you have got a new nozzle ready there i'm actually using pme5 but you can use wilton 18 that kind of thing this will all work really well with this so we're going to just recap on the hats so we have oh, christmas hats we have a large hat we have a small hat and we also have mittens which can match that and that all rhymes <laughs> i couldn't have done that better if i tried so these are the christmas hats and again for these what we will be using is our lovely christmas papers so let's get one of those back again what should we have what have i done already right let's do a gingerbread one i think let's do a gingerbread one i'm gonna pop my reindeer there for a second turn that round we'll do a large one so if you wanted to make matching hat and gloves we have uh, sets of mini hats mini gloves together so they are available already so the only part we're interested in with this hat oh dear i'm off screen let me just work this out so i can get on screen that's better the only part we're interested with the hat is this section here because we're going to pipe these two other sections here so all you do is line it up at the bottom there hold it steady just take a little pencil and mark across there or an edible pen whatever you've got just go across there like that take that away this is where i now go what have i done with my scissors but actually no they are here that's good and then we're just going to go up here and cut this section out. You can see with these papers, we're not using a lot. So you will get loads and loads of cookies out of these. You won't just get one and that's it. That's no good. We will get way more than that. And if you make mini ones, then you'll get absolutely loads, won't you? And the mini ones fit so nicely on top of the cupcakes. They look well cool. Right, let's pop that over there. Let's bring in our large hat and then we'll just peel this back like so. Take that off. I'm going to put this straight onto the cookie this time. Let's pop that on there like that. There we go. It's a little bit smaller than the cookie, but it doesn't matter on this occasion. And then I'm going to take my icing bag. There it is. Hopefully I've got enough icing in here. If not, I have more available and we will do that so all i'm going to do is take my bag i'm just wondering how much you're going to see here so maybe i'll hold it so you can see and i'm just going to pipe swirls of icing to make a bobble hat you can see that so that's okay 
So I'm just going round in a circle. So royal icing will obviously dry, super duper, that's what we want. And then we've got our big puff in. Now the easiest way to deal with this is to go in lines, I discovered. So you go round. My hand is, I'm trying not to get my hand in the way while also piping at the same time. <laughs> Never an easy achievement, but anyway, we'll give it a go. So all the way across there and then come down the next row and just go across. I'm just piping little, little circles, basically. So while I'm doing that, next week I will be back at 10 o'clock and we will be doing more ideas for Christmas. Next week we'll be doing candy canes, which we have got as a new cookie cutter, which is out today. You can see that on the website. We will be doing um, cupcakes for Christmas using the snow globe cookie images so we'll be running through those as well and in the meantime we will be bringing out TikToks all week of different things um, of quick tutorials showing you how to do all of these bits and pieces together once you've come all the way across your hat there it is that's my lovely hat all done you can then add in some sprinkles if you want to so if you want to go the full snow effect and you take some little white sprinkles you can put those on there as well like so, maybe some up on there as well. You could spray it with glitter and you can do all sorts of different bits and pieces. Let me get the one I did yesterday. This is the one that will be coming out on the film. There's that one and there's that one. So you can see I've done this one in a bit more of a rush, but you can kind of get the idea. There we go. And then obviously there is a mini version as well. And the little mini one sits on top of cupcakes. So it's a tiny little one. Let me just grab it from behind me. Hold on. There we go. So that's the little mini. It's very sweet. So if you want to make a little matching cupcake to go with your cookie, there it is. And they all come in as a set as well. So you get the hat and gloves. Uh, sorry, the large hat and the la and the small mini. They go together. And then you get the large mitten and the small mitten. They go together as well. And you can make cupcakes and you can make boxes and all sorts of things. Um, you can add glycerin to royal icing to make it softer if you particularly want to. Probably quite a good idea because royal icing can set very hard. So if you want to do that, it is literally a teaspoon to your recipe. Don't add in too much, otherwise it will become very soft and then you'll have a job to pipe with it. Um, but yes, you can put glycerin in there as well. So that's a little mini one as well. And the mini ones, are say, they work exactly the same way as the others. You take hold of your sheet. Luckily this year, well not this year, but any year, I've designed the patterns so that they're small because if these patterns were large, you wouldn't get the detail because it's not a very big surface area on here. So it's actually quite important that the area is not too big or the pattern isn't too big and line it up with whatever it is that you want to feature on that hat. So take a bit of time and thought um, and you can do it that way. The other idea that I had with this is if you wanted to do your Christmas jumpers with these patterns, you can take your Christmas jumper pattern uh, your cookie cutter and you can go all the way around the outside edge and you can make some of those as well so if you fancy a full-on pattern jumper then you could do that as well I'm sure if you move these around you would be able to get a few off a sheet looks like you might be able to get six off a sheet so if you fancy those patterns as the jumpers instead of the jumpers that I've done you can move these around as well so there are some sort of different options there that you can use by using these different sheets including this lovely one, which I'm still mad keen on. <laughs> I so love that. That is so nice. I'm very happy with that, as you can possibly tell. Right, OK, let's go back to the beginning. There we go. So we're nearly coming to the end of the live now. Let's just go through everything just so you kind of get a drift of case you've missed anything. And if you have missed anything, you can watch it all back afterwards. So that's fine. And if you want to go and have a look at what's available, you can go to that shop Kate Live as well and place your order. You'll find lots of different things are there waiting for you. So we started this morning by saying that the new Christmas class is out today. So this one will be out this afternoon. Um, you will see this appearing 
on your login page if you are a gold or silver member or you've bought the class so just give me uh the rest of the art well give me this afternoon to put it all together i've just got a tiny little bit of checking i need to do on it and then it will appear so that will come out today um on the 14th of november which is tuesday we will be live at seven o'clock in the evening we will be painting these lives so if you have bought the cute characters at cake international or you fancy having a go at these then the cute character cutters are available on let's shop cake live just go to the website you'll find them on there we also have the christmas midi set which includes the stocking and the tree that is shown in the picture there so if you want to have a go at the full set you'll need the christmas midis as well the reindeer cookie cutter not the one that's shown in the picture so i keep calling it cookie cutter the reindeer cutter from patchwork cutters is limited availability at the moment so if you are ordering it please remember that there may be a slight delay with that one while we wait for things to come in um, so the school information, let me just quickly put the school information up there. There it is. So if you do want to go across and have a look at our classes and join as a member, we've had loads of new members join since Cake International that are now getting on board and doing painting and cupcake bouquets, royal icing, all of these lovely things that we have on gold membership. So if that's for you and you'd like to join, then please go across to the school and have a look. You'd be very welcome. We would love to have you as a student and I'm sure that you will enjoy creating very nice Christmas or perhaps having a go at something in the new year. If you want to buy maybe a present for Christmas like a beginner's cocoa butter painting course or kit then do please get in touch with us and we will sort that out for you. But if you are ordering Christmas presents you know what I'm going to say next don't you everybody? <laughs> please don't leave it too late because you know what's going to happen the postman's going to go into meltdown because we all know what's coming around the corner and every year it goes completely mad and then we have a problem with stock so we're getting the stock to you it's not getting the stock to us because we've already got our stock it's more getting it to you because the post office will probably go into meltdown um we do use royal mail please bear in mind that we normally suggest that it's going to be at two to four working days sometimes it's a lot quicker and sometimes it's painfully slower we do not control it but we do send out our post so when you see a message coming through saying that your order has been shipped it is normally two to four working days from that point normally is the word we're looking at here because normally doesn't usually mean Christmas um, I can tell you last year there was quite some significant delays so we'd like to think that maybe things are a little bit more organized this year but please if you do specifically want something in the near future please order it sooner rather than later or something that will ruin your Christmas if you don't get it in time please place your order as soon as possible to avoid this where are we now we're on the 11th of November today so we'd like to think that at this stage we definitely can get everything to you uh, we're not running out of time just yet but obviously the lives are now really kicking off because we are heading towards um, Christmas time so today I've gone over with you so we've talked about the patchwork cutters the ones that we'll be using on the live on Tuesday evening we've done this new, the new slow, snow globe patterns if you miss those they are on let's shop Kate live or obviously go back and watch the live once it's completed and you will then be able to see them all or look out for the TikToks that are coming out which will show you the the um, new centres out and they are mini and they are also full size so either of those two um, we went over the reindeer so that you know and understand how to do that again it is quite important if you've bought a mold from the year before to have these little memory things so I try and do them as quickly as I can just so that you can remember how to do them and I can point you in the right direction of where the live is um, we went over the teddy with the present because we have new sheets as well we do also have the lovely Christmas tree molds which I did put one out there is these are mega mega popular these build these if you can see in the background there there's a 3d christmas tree there these are our 3d christmas tree molds and we sell hundreds of them at this time of year so if you are looking to make a christmas tree at this time of year out of chocolate and you want to have one of these molds please again order these as soon as possible because they will go out of stock um, and we also have kits as well so if you want the chocolate and the sprinkles and the box and the mold all in one kit then you will need to get all of those together okay 
so that is something else that you can think about we also did the hat and we did the jumpers don't forget as well we have christmas tree uh, christmas tree we have christmas pajamas kits as well pajama bottoms that are fun that you can put together with your jumper cookie cutters and make yourself up a set of christmas pajamas as well so there are loads and loads of ideas on here and every week i try and come on and show you all of these different bits and pieces but if you would like to order, there is the address up on the screen at the moment. So don't forget, that is where you need to go to place your orders. It's open all the time. Um, Let's Shop Kate Live is there for you to go on to at any time. So if you want to go ordering in the middle of the night, that's fine. That's up to you. Um, but if you do want to place an order, that's where you need to go. Um, so that's it for this week's live. I'll be back again on Tuesday evening at seven o'clock. Now, remember that I will be on this page here which is um, at Tracy Man Cakes. Please remember that we are not live on this page on Tuesday evening. We're on this page. So if this isn't a page you're following at the moment, please go across and follow it. We might start streaming a few bits and pieces out of TikTok live as well. In fact, we may even do that one. I haven't worked it out yet, but we'll see. Um, so there are other places, but that is the key to where you need to make sure that you go to watch that particular live on Tuesday evening. So if beginner's cocoa butter painting is something that you are looking at, then please make sure that you tune in at seven o'clock on Tuesday evening this week. And I will have done a cake demonstration that afternoon. So I will be nonstop talking, <laughs> pretty usual really for me. Uh, so do feel free to come and join me on that as well. So I'm going to say thank you very much to everyone that's tuned in today, particularly my French friend, Nicola, who has been writing in French all, all morning for me. Very helpful because I speak zero French. My language skills are absolutely awful, whereas Kelly's are amazing. So I hand over to my daughter, Kelly, who is coming home today. So I'm going to go home and see her later uh, when she arrives back from the Netherlands and she'll be with me for the next couple of days, which is very nice. I'm being spoiled. Um, so thank you very much. Let's take this down here so you can actually see me and what's going on so i hope you've enjoyed the morning please do come back next week we'd love to have you show you all the bits and pieces that we've done and we're looking forward to seeing how you get on making all of your christmas arrangements because that's what we're here for we're here to inspire you and we're here to give you some ideas to make christmas really lovely for everybody and uh, make something new and different and uh, show off all your skills that you've learned so take care we'll see you next week at 10 o'clock in the